was worse. She's losing response to stimuli. He's vomiting blood and his lactic acid's 45. He's got to have his chemo bowel. So what? Well, let's see. Lack of blood flow is causing his guts to die, which will cause him to die unless we cut out a few feet of small intestine and retouch the ends. I don't know. Seems worth a mention. Why does he have it? What does it tell us? Small cell vasculitis. Good. Now let's hear it again, but this time with a more environmental or infectious feeling. Or, like I said before, it might not be environmental or infectious. He has vasculitis, she has porphyria. Belly pain plus hallucination. Classic symptoms. Could even cause a coma. Fine. Start around a hematin for porphyria. What about him? Take out the dead bowel. That's all we can do. And biopsy it. Performance right, it might save him. Performance wrong, dead bowel might save both of them. Bowel's not dead. Unless he's been tossing down frosty cans of lactic acid, bowel is dead. What we're looking for is a reason it's dead. Bowel's not dead. Just general swelling and edema. High lactate was probably from stress. We just sliced him open from chest to pubic bone for nothing. Nothing, something. Forget the ischemia. Add the edema and swelling. Probably from cutting him open. Probably, not definitely. Okay, back to the beginning. What do we talk about? Anything. I want to hear it all again. Allergies. Doesn't fit at all now. STDs. Maybe we got the wrong one. What about syphilis? Neurological symptoms? He wasn't cheating on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love of his life. Don't you have to wait till he's dead before you make that determination? She's his only girlfriend ever. They grew up next door. They ran off together as teenagers. Sarcoidosis. We only ruled it out because we thought he had ischemic. Why did they run off? What difference is... talk about running off. How many do it? What was the reason? They were trying to escape his evil, pill-popping, racist dad. You would have liked him. We should do another buyout. But you know the dad was racist. He beat up his son for dating a black girl. I extrapolated from that. You see racism everywhere. Maybe he just didn't like this black girl. It's not sarcoid. We would have seen granulomas in his... She has pretty eyes. Forget infectious. Forget environmental. Defective DNA is keeping them from making a critical protein. Hence the fluid buildup. It's the throat, stomach, chest, and brain. Angioedema? Hereditary angioedema. Symptoms fit perfectly. It's an incredibly rare disease. They both would have to have a parent. Is it a coincidence that your sister has great hair? Or that these two have green eyes? You're not saying they're not brother and sister. Ew. God, no. That would be sick. Half brother and sister. Different moms. Dad must have had an affair with her mom. That's why he flipped out when the kids started dating. He had it himself, probably why the pills. You don't know for sure. Testing for HAE or paternity is going to take a day. She doesn't have a day. Let's start treating and see what happens. Any change? Her response to stimuli is still just as weak. I almost hope she stays in a coma. That's sweet, Cameron. I'd like to avoid shattering both of their lives. You don't think dying will do that? It's just our oximeter. Tracy. Tracy. She's awake. Oh, God, baby. It's gonna be okay. Awesome. Can I tell them? We've obviously got to let them know it's wrong, but the cause, the brother-sister thing, good plan. You just got to keep them away from doctors, the internet, and anyone who's not a total moron. Tell them. Yesterday, he was willing to die to save her. You've got to give him time to recover. He might be a little vexed that you kept letting him hump his sister in the meantime. Tell them. Unless their dad was also the product of an incestuous union, the chances of serious complications are minimal. Noble of you to take that risk. Tell them, or I will. So, we just need to take these pills? Twice a day. Angioedema is very treatable. It'll be fine. So what? We, like, caught this from each other? No. It's a condition you've both always had. The onset of symptoms are sometimes caused by stress or trauma. The incident at the diner. So we got it as kids? It's, um... 
It's a genetic disease. It's not... There's no good reason two unrelated people would get it. We think you guys should take a DNA test. How can we be related? We think you have the same dad. We don't know for sure until we do the test. Oh, God. Your, your father. No. No, this can't, this can't be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jer, Jer, I, I'm lighter. You know, I'm lighter than both my parents and our eyes. Everyone always talks about how we have the same eyes. You're not really siblings. We have the same father. You didn't fight in the back seat on car trips. You didn't change each other's diapers. You guys just met and fell in love. The, the way you feel, that hasn't changed. 